Have you ever wondered how you can get more people on your discovery call calendar? Well, today you're in luck because I'm going to give you some tips and some strategies you can use to keep your discovery call calendar full. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former teacher turned full-time online business coach. And I'm just going to share some tips with you that I learned in my process of becoming a full-time coach. Not everybody is going to tell you these things. But here is your first tip. When I got online, I thought all I needed was a calendar, a sales page, a website, and people would come to me. You know, like that statement, like, build it and they'll come. Well, that doesn't work all the time. I mean, it might, but not to the degree you want it to be. So your first tip, you have to be proactive. I hear it. Now, what do you mean by proactive? Well, this is what I mean. If you're on the internet, right, in today's world, it's real easy to sit back and let people come to you. But the thing is, what you need to do to be proactive is you reach out to those who reach out to you. I don't know what social media channels you're on, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on a podcast, whether you have Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, but there are people that are going to leave comments. Well, just reach out to them. Ask them different questions. Hey, I really appreciate you leaving a comment. What are your aspirations? Are you an entrepreneur? Just start building an engagement with them, asking them questions. And then finally just say, hey, I don't know. I can't really answer all your questions here. How would you like to jump on a call with me? Here's my link and let's get on a call and we'll see what else we can help each other with. That's the first one. Make it simple and make it easy. The second tip. Now this sounds a lot like the first, but engage with the people that engage with you. Now, what do I mean by engage? Because the first one I talked about the people that reached out to you. Engaging are on your social media, you're always going to have the same people that likes, give you hearts, but they don't really leave comments. But that doesn't mean you can't reach out to them. And do the same thing. People, that, if you have an email service, people that open your emails. Reach out to them. Same thing. And ask them, what are some of your aspirations? Are you an entrepreneur? What's your relationship like? All depends on what your coaching style is. Hey, I got two more really good ones for you. But what are some of your best tips? How do you keep your discovery calendar full? Okay, here's the third one. If you sell products, doesn't matter if it's a $7 product, if it's a um, $47 product, it's a $1,000 product. Reach out to your past customers, right? Keep serving them. Reach out to them and see if you can help help them with anything. Ask them how the program was because some customers will buy something. I don't know if you ever noticed this or maybe you've done this because I know I have. I bought something I've never done it. And I forget about it. So just reach out say, hey, how'd you like the product? Was there anything else I could do that would make it better? And then open up a dialogue in the same thing. Just invite them to, hey, I'd like to talk more with you. How about if we jump on a call? Can I send you a link to my calendar? And there's your discovery call. Now, this is the fourth one, and this is a big one. Um, when I first started, I was told to do this religiously. Let's go live. Seriously. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but I tell you what, when you go live, whether it's on Facebook, uh, YouTube does live, whether it's on uh, Instagram, you do live videos, here's the thing. Right? When people see you live, and see your videos. Video is the real the key. When they see you live, they start understanding your personality. They start getting to know you more and more. And it's the same thing. If you're a coach, if you're coaching, talk about some of the things inside your coaching program. I mean, don't give away the whole thing, but just talk about some of the things you talk about, maybe some tips, maybe some mindset things. And then at the end, hey, if you got any value from that, how about jumping on a live call with me? Here's my link. I'll leave it below. Same thing. Just do a really easy invite. So those are the four tips. Be proactive, right? Reach out to those who reach out to you. Engage with those who engage with you. 
your past customers, and then do lives, do videos, be brave, show them that you care. That's the biggest thing. Now, the next thing is once you're on a discovery call, do you know how to close them? Well, I have some great scripts for you. And if you'd like to learn those, I'm going to leave a link below for a discovery call and I'll help you on your journey. Y'all take care. We will talk to you again soon.